So it is a lie. Anything is not in the Quran is a lie, correct? It's not in the Quran, right. it's a lie. Okay, I'm going to ask you, just to show everybody. When Muhammad, he went to heaven, Muhammad, he went to heaven. Do you believe in that? No. You don't believe that Muhammad went to heaven? No. He did not go They're to lying. heaven? It's a lie? Never. Never. They lied against him from the first addition. You're on garbage's books. Let me call him. Are you there? Hello. Okay. Did you get the answer from Ultimate Fart? I said, let us go to the verse. It's adultery. Abdul, what, are, what, what's wrong with you? Let us go to the verse. Let's go. We are in the verse. Okay. Okay. So what is the question? So where is the men in the verse? What is the men? What is the men? The men, the one who come fornication or adultery. It have to be a man and a woman, correct? Yes. Okay. Do you see any men in the verse? This verse is putting the judgment on the woman. It's what? putting the judgment on the woman. It's speaking about what to do with the woman. It does not mention men. But it says you women, they did something. Then you jail them. Okay, what we do to the man? The, the verse is the verse is the, the story you get here. Listen, you are a Quran only, and you believe the Quran explain itself. You say this is about women and men having sex for no kating, committing adultery. What is the men? Okay, what we do me, to the men? Okay, let me answer. This verse is, so, is saying that if your wife is caught in adultery mm. with four different men, then you should provide uh, that will be four witnesses. The reason is because the other verse says that uh -huh. the other man, the other man will be given 100 lashes, each of them. Okay, you just said, everybody heard you. Four different men, correct? Yes. But you quoted this verse for me to prove that it is four different time and four different men. Yes. But you just for said, sure. but you just said you need only four witnesses. Yes. So where why you are adding four different time to the verse? Look, look, you are facing the verse. The verse says. You must have four witnesses against them from among you. Uh -huh. If they do bear witness, if they do bear witness, four witness against what? It has to be four different occasions. It has to be four where, where, the, where, where is a different occasion? I want to, you, you see, you are calling me to get me busted. And now you okay. are saying to me, you see, you are almost in fabricating the Quran. Now, are you adding the words four different occasion? Is it, does it say that? You are Quran only, remember, which means only what the Quran say, you say, but look what you are doing. You are adding now a long sentence saying four different occasion. Can you read for me where in the verse it says in four different occasion? You are facing it. Where? You are gonna, you, you, where? Okay, where? Let, where? Let, let, me, let me explain how it says that. Let me explain. Uh, not, don't explain. Read the verse. It should be in the verse. You see your Quran yes. only. The Quran is Abdul. Listen, if the Quran is saying four different occasion, then show me where it says that. Otherwise, explanation is false. Because it's not up to you to add things is not said in the Quran. Remember, you are a Quran only. And whatever the Quran only say, you have to follow without even explanation. The Quran say. So does the Quran say the words, the sentence, four different occasion? Yes. Where? Show me. That is what I'm trying to explain. You're gonna it, let me So talk. are you saying to me that is in your explanation, not in the Quran? It is from the Quran, and I'll prove that. No, where? Where it says, where is the, where is the sentence says, in four different occasions? Okay, because the Quran says that if it is, uh, they should give 100 lashes. But this verse is saying that it should be kept in the homes till death. Because, because this is about, because you're stupid, because this is about women having sex only together. Women, women. He says no, he says those who commit adultery. No, no, those who those who commit fornication in the form of women with women. What translation you are reading? No. What translation? What translation you are reading? You, your translation. No, you, your translation. What translation do you want? I said your translation. Okay, my translation says two women. 
It says woman. There's only there's no man. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> what? <laughs> so you mean according to, according to you? Okay, let us take example in the Bible. Don't Jesus don't don't that, listen, Abdul. Abdul, give me the translation you accept. Okay, Jesus says that when a don't change topic, across, Abdul. Don't run. Don't put your tail between your legs and say Jesus says. Jesus says that you are a whore. Jesus says your father is the devil. Jesus says that you will know them from their fruit. He said that the father of all lies is the devil. If you are a follower of Abraham, you do the work of Abraham, Jesus said. But you don't. You Muslims are fabricating answers against your Quran. I can show right now the interpretation saying this is about women having sex together. And the verse after it, you donkey, it says Aladani, which means two men. So the verse before it, verse number 15 says, if two women having sex together, and the verse after is about women only. So it's about gays and lesbian. You are a certified donkey. You are the certified donkey. Okay, here it says in verse number 16, let's see who is the donkey. And by the way, your prophet says, aren't you afraid from raising your head before the imam? Allah will make your head ahead a donkey. Already you are a donkey. He cannot make you a donkey. Don't worry. So now, verse number 16, does it say about two men? If they do this act, we beat them with sandals. We just hurt them. No, it says uh, the couples. What couples? Okay, hold on. Just to show you how stupid you are. So the verse before it, if two men and women, a man and woman, they have sex, according to you, we jail them in their houses. Wonderful. The, then how you explain to me the verse after says, if two of you men have sex, we just insult you, hurt them. Why we have different what rules? Mean... Why we have different rules? Okay, it says, and as for the two of you, yeah, who are guilty, punish them both. What? They are guilty of what? And if they are guilty, they are guilty. What? What? From the context, what are they guilty of? Fahisha. <laughs> yeah. Certified donkey. Fahisha. The same word you quote for me. You could not call it in the beginning. I help you. Fahisha. So the Quran continues, says, if two of you, wallati ya'teen al-fahisha, if two of them, those women, they'd commit fahisha, we do this to them. We, we jail them in their house until they die. The verse after says, if two men do what? No. Do fahisha. No, it, doesn't, it doesn't say men. It says that, in Arabic it says, walladhani. Two of you. Two Abdul, of you, not Abdul, Muta boy. No, this is the English one. The start, the first one. It says, "Walladhani." Yes, two men. Two, okay, two is of you. is "Alladhani" for men or for women? It says two of you. Do you like to call ultimate fort? What do you mean? I, I like to. I okay, like hold to on. Me. You said to me you believe in dictionary, right? Can you find for me right now and get me busted? In I will give you the password. Is it for men, Ladhani, or for men and female, Ladhani? Ladhani? Mm -hmm. I think it's for... Uh, let me see. Uh, squeeze it, squeeze it. It's, it's coming. It's what? Who of you? It does, it does not uh, refer to men or female. It, is uh -huh. it does not. Are you sure, Abdul? Yes. Ah, that's amazing. It's so beautiful, so beautiful. Okay, if it is the same, then why they have different punishment? If this, if the, if the, if the, if the one number fifteen is about a man and woman having sex, and the punishment is to jail them until they die, then how the second one have different punishment? Just hurt their feeling. Yes, if there are two, if there are two of them. Eh? We know it's two. We know, we know. Do yes, listen, focus, focus. Potato, everybody is dying laughing at you. It's recorded. So now, you know, I should pay you money actually to call me every day. I mean, you are the best drama we have. No Muslim is calling. Thank you for calling. So listen, I'm, ask, I'm asking you if it is the, the first one is a man and women for no kidding. What we do, you said, we bring four witnesses in the four different time which doesn't say that and you are a liar as usual but if it is the shut up if it's the same why in the verse number 16 it says if two of you commit it then just hurt them hurt them what the difference between 
the verse 15 and the verse 16. Okay, the difference is that the verse in 16 is talking about two. Even if there are two, they should be punished. So are you saying to me that the verse number 15 is about group sex? The verse, it's for whatever. <laughs> whatever. What are you trying to buy time? We call it ultimate fault. And what what do you mean call, call ultimate fault? What what do you mean that? You are facing I'm person. asking you if this is the if the first one is a fornication, man and a woman, you claim that. And then we bring four witnesses, and then we the punishment is we jail them until they die. Okay, wonderful. So now verse number 16, talking about what? It says the two of you who commit the adultery shall be punished. Okay. What what uh, uh, what adultery we are talking about? What if okay. if both of them are adultery? Why here we just heard them and there we jail them? That is why I'm trying to explain, but you don't let me talk. Really? Right? All this time you are talking, I do not let you. Talk? You when I'm trying to clear everything, you stop me along the way. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Go. I will take. Afraid. Go, go, I will take a nap. Okay. The verse says, and two of you, what does that mean? It I don't means know. that. It's mean three. No. It's mean two I'll then. Explain why. It's mean two. You're smart. Okay. If two of you, okay. The two of you, the uh -huh. two of you who committed the adultery shall okay. be punished. Okay. The other man, the other man, the, the first punishment is mentioned for the woman, is mentioned in verse 15. This, the punishment for the other person is to uh, 100 lashes. What, are you stupid or what? So how, yeah, how I, Abdul, Abdul, if, if they commit fornication in verse number 15, we jail them until they die. Is that correct? Yes, that's for the woman. Okay. Four times. Oh, this is for the women. Finally, he got himself busted. So I, I was telling you from the beginning, those are only women. Women, those are lesbian, your donkey. Now you get yourself busted. So the verse after it is for two men. This is the difference between them. So two men having sex, if we go to the interpretation, as an example, at Jalalain, it says those who they are homosexual. Homosexual. This is why in Arabic it says two men, men, men committed adultery. Alladhani. Oh. Homosexual, yeah. read it, read it, read yeah. it. They are doing yeah. the act of loot, the act of loot. What we do, we beat them with sandals. Shall I beat you with sandals? Are you a so you are, not, are you a gay? So you are not quoting the Quran, you are quoting what another is, What I'm quoting, this is even your, inter this is your scholar interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> so you are not giving me Guys, what the Quran says. Shall I hang up on him and give him mercy for tonight or leave him talk? I hang up on you, you for honestly, listen, I hang up on you because I feel bad for you, but I will not hang up. Listen, all Muslim okay. scholars agree that this is about homosexual. This is why it says, if two of your men, then no, it's, it's listen, two of you, no, you are the one who agreed, you are the one who agreed that the punishment for the women. The punishment for the women is to jail them in their houses until they die, correct? Yes. Okay. But are you saying that in Islam there's no penalty of stoning to death? The Quran, the Quran does not say that. It is the Bible. This is another question I'm asking you. Do Islam believe, I... do, do Islam and Muslim believe that a woman, she is married, commit fornication, she should be stoned to death, yes or no? I say the Quran does not say that it is the Bible. It's not a question. It's not a question. Do Islam believe that a woman, she is married, she commit fornication, should be stoned to death? Yes or no? I say the Quran never says that. It is Stupid the Bible. or what? I'm asking you. Do Islam say this or not? Either you say, don't tell me Quran. Say no. Say Islam doesn't say that. I say the Quran does not say that. I didn't ask you about Quran. I said, do Islam and Muslim believe? That a woman, if she is married, commit fornication, she should be stoned to death. I said it is not found in the Quran, it is a lie. So it is a lie. Anything is not in the Quran is a lie, correct? It's not in the Quran, right. it's a lie. Okay, I'm going to ask you just to show everybody. When Muhammad he went to heaven, Muhammad he went to heaven. Do you believe in that? No. 
You don't believe that Muhammad went to heaven? No. He did not go They're to heaven? Lying. It's a lie? Never. Never. They lied against him from the first addition. Your own garbage books. Okay, hold on. Right? Hold on. So who is the one who lie about Muhammad going to heaven? Your own garbage book. Your own fellow Christians. Abdul, don't insult. How can I insult you so easy? So I'm asking you now. We are trying to speak in a friendly language. So you want to be insulted, insulting my Bible? I will insult you. Okay, so now. When you say you don't believe that Muhammad went to heaven, so Muhammad went where? The Quran says he was taken to the to the uh, mosque. To where? To mosque, Masjid Al Asq. Uh, where, where is where is where, where is that location? That's what the Quran says. No, no I'm asking you. Uh, Allah took him where? What is that? Allah says he took him at where? night. Where? 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 I get it. I get it. Where? Allah took him where? Aqsa Mosque. Where is that? Hey, what do you mean? Where is that? The, I'm asking you. you I'm asking you. Where is, is that? Quran, where is that? Did, did the Quran tell you the exact point? No. I thought the Quran is a book. You Muslim Quran only can understand the Quran. So now we do not know where he took him and why he took him. He took him to a place called. Okay. Um, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Okay. So, uh, uh, you only believe in what the Quran says. Then you say yeah. to me, the Quran says that we have to have four witnesses in four different occasions. When I say to okay. you, where we can find the four different occasions, you quote for me this verse, chapter uh, 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 4, verse number 15, correct? I ask you, where in the verse it says four different occasions? You are Can saying to me, hold on, you Can are saying to me, no, you did not answer, you are a coward. You said to me, I believe only in what in the Quran. Does it say anywhere in the verse you gave me that it is for different occasion? Yes, the Quran explained the Quran explained that. Show me the verse saying this is the one. Show me where it says okay. for different occasion. Okay, take it up and I answer. Take it up and I'll answer. No, show me the show me the sentence. What do you mean? Why you wanna why you wanna explain? As long as you follow Quran only, you are the one who I'll said, answer. listen, potato. You said to me that you believe only in the Quran. That's why you don't believe that Muhammad went to heaven, correct? Because the Quran doesn't say that. There's no verse saying there's no verse saying that Muhammad went to heaven. Wonderful. I'm going with you. So now, can you show me where in the Quran it says to prove that you are really Quran only person? Otherwise, you are a fraud. Show me where it says four different occasions from the Quran. Don't explain. That would be funny. You are adding things. It's not there. You see, I am destroying you. You see, I am destroying you. you don't Wonderful. Like Destroy me and show me where it says for different occasion. I'm waiting. Okay. The Quran explains itself. It says that for the, if it is not up to four, the woman should be given 100 lashes as a punishment. 100 lashes. But this one, it says that she should be kept in the house. What does that mean? It means that it has to be four different occasions. Guys, shall I hang up on him or keep him for entertainment? Abdul, what do you mean it's mean? It's mean. It says only bring four witnesses. It doesn't say anything about occasion. The Quran explained itself. Where it's explained that it's four different occasions. Okay, because the other verse says that it, it says is, it's call four of your witnesses against them. What do you mean call? What, what, where did you get that from? It's in the Quran. The verse says, you're not reading the verse correctly. Really? Yes. Okay, give me the verse correctly. Okay, those who commit adultery among your women, you must have four witnesses against them from you. If you they you do must what? You must, slowly, slowly, you must what? You must have four witnesses against them. So what, what you are saying to me, I, 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 the verse doesn't say, I just said, Call four witnesses. You said doesn't say that. You must have four witnesses. Doesn't say call. You must. You, you must it, ask. You are trying to make it like you uh, must. You, you, you must. You, 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 you must what? You must ask for witnesses. Yes, for you to put her in the house until they die. What, what do you mean by saying ask? Like, do you buy them, or they are there and they saw? They have. I see, what I'm trying to say is that for you to keep them in your house till they die, you have to have four witnesses against them 
Okay, but so where is where is the four occasion? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Hmm? The other verse says that if she is caught in adultery and it is not up to four times, the woman should be beaten 100 lashes. 100 lashes. Abdul Potato, you keep repeating the same thing. We got it, 100 lashes, who care? I'm asking you now, the, where it says the four occasion. That's what I'm, I'm just telling you. Where? One occasion is 100 lashes. Where? The four, the four occasion is 100 lashes? One occasion is 100 lashes. One, one occasion is 100 lashes? Yes. That's false. That is a few, Abdul, son of Muta. This is if a man he made accusation, the husband, if he made accusation in marriage. But this is about lesbian anyway. But if I want somebody he made accusation for those women, he have to provide for witnesses, even though he is not a witness. He made accusation. So when you make an accusation, you have to provide for witnesses to be one to be to be approving what happened. This is what the verse is saying. No, the verse says, the verse says, Don't ever call me again, or I will never let you talk. You know, I mean, disgusting, stupid, low-class garbage.